we're gonna go live right here in just a little bit here. Oh, we are live, aren't we? Okay, everybody, so you may see a little bit of a lag here um, because I'm ahead of, of what you're watching. And so anyway, so we're gonna go over some of the tools that I, one of the tools that a must tool you have to have in your arsenal. For you veteran techs, you're gonna know what I'm talking about. Some of you veteran techs, or most of you veteran techs, don't even own standliner tools. So we're gonna talk about that too as well. Um, let me give you a different look about that, see? So check that out. So this is a standliner tool that we're gonna be using for this repair. But before I get into this and how it pushes and, and, and things like that, we're going to, um, we're going to use, talk about the other tools as well. So if you're commenting, if you are, are thinking about commenting, uh, just bear with me that I probably won't see your comment right away. And, and I usually don't comment uh, when I'm in the middle of a repair or doing a video. So uh, I will get to your questions and I'll pause what I'm doing um, so I can, I can answer some of those questions if you guys have some, okay? This is the first live video I have done professionally. So uh, bear with me if we are, you know, if I have a little bit of hiccups here and there. Uh, obviously, this isn't a polished, edited video like you would normally see uh, that I do, but I'm excited because this is what real PDR is about, it's like doing it live. When you are at a customer's location, <laughs> you really got one chance to do it right, right? Um, so it's kind of the same way here, but I'm gonna kind of demonstrate uh, the different aspects of the tools. We're gonna do a demonstration on this particular if I'm in the way yet, yeah. on this uh, repair right here. We're gonna talk about some of the tips that, that you could, you know, generally the common tips that are used in PDR. Uh, we're also gonna talk about a lot of these tap downs. I'm not gonna put them right there, but we're gonna talk about all these type of tap downs too uh, as well. We're gonna try to get as much as we can within 45 minutes to an hour. I'm also going to be able to demonstrate uh, when we are pushing on a dent that you will be able to see the bottom, okay, the push. So how the contact of the tool is going against the panel, okay, and how I would hold the tool, things like that. Um, so you get a little bit better bird's eye view uh, of, of that. So, uh, meanwhile, I'm going to say, what's going on to Tom? How you doing, man? Uh, there's Boars. What's, what's going on? Um, and there's somebody, I believe, from Russia or Ukraine, and I just can't, I can't read that. And, I, and well, anyways, welcome. So uh, let me go switch over to here. Okay. So as you can see, what I'm using, I'm going to list all the tools in the description. You've probably seen it already. I put the list of those. And right now, as I'm doing the demonstration, I'm using a dent desk from Ultra Dent Tools. Now this dent desk flips up, it goes to, this, to at an angle, it has kind of like a, a, a panel, like a rail for you to do some glue pulling and some uh, all kinds of different things to practice and do demonstrations or help train your future student or your technician to help them get, get him or her up to speed. Um, it has a lot of different features. It's pretty cool, and you can see that I'm, it's on one of my benches right here. And this is actually from Home Depot here in the States, and I can roll it up higher or lower. And it's pretty cool. I use it a lot, just uh, not just for this purpose, but for my dents, because I don't like to put my tools on the ground very often. Uh, so that's pretty much this. And I put a link down to the bottom as well. It's super convenient. So you can, you can mount it to any desk or tabletop or whatever you like that is a workbench that, that is sturdy, okay? Um, the light, well, what can I say about the light? The light is Elimidense. You can see the back of it. This is the first production version of the Elimidense light. They have a lot more different lights. Uh, I really like it, it's fantastic. There's other brands like Carl Stuckey, 
fantastic light. Uh, I just particularly using this one. Pro PDR Solutions too, so if you, you know, those are some of the name brand uh, lights. So nothing against them, I'm just happy to use the Illumident light. Plus I'm using a reflection uh, of the line board Okay, and I'll switch that over there so you can see that too as well. So the line board, you can see it, these are eighth inch lines right here, and it casts a reflection across the dent. This is what it gives me. That. So I'm looking at the curvature of the dent. Now you could also, when you're working with the board, so the closer you bring it in, the less detail it is, okay? So this is generally what a, veteran, a, a newbie tech would wanna do, is kind of work it closer. As the dent gets smaller, you want to move the board back further. For me personally, this is going to work for me and for you to watch because I'm going to be able to get it down smaller, quicker. I'm using, for me, for my eyes, I'm using the black reflection, the black lines. So that, that's how we're setting up so far. Um, if you look right here, there's a chain and this gives me the leverage. So when I use one of my tools, I can use the chain as the leverage point, okay? So I'm pushing off of that. You can also, in real world situation, you might not have two holes like that, so you can hang it like this, and then you can slip your tool here, and then you can, you can get your leverage that way too. I know if you can barely see it in the frame, I apologize about that, but if you can't. But I'm gonna have it set up the way I had it, and this is gonna work perfectly fine for me uh, for that situation, okay? We all here? I'm gonna go back and look at some, and say hi to everybody. Uh, let me go back to my, my little picture. And then we're gonna do picture in picture too, guys. So we'll be able to, you'll be able to see me push, and then you'll be able to see uh, the, the tool at the same time, but in a smaller area. So hopefully you'll be able to see a little bit of that. So I'll look at the thing, what's going, RPM, what's up, Scotto? Now that dude I knew, I do know, I do know really well. So, Lucas, uh, cars with Chris. What's up, Chris, how you doing, man? Gerardo, uh, there is, from Russia, okay, I still don't, get, thank you for clarifying, from Russia, good deal. Um, Romania, good, because, good, we got some people from all around, Sweden. What's, nice, nice. So this is good, all right. So, uh, Ahmed, hi, welcome. What's going on? We got Dentcraft here, so another great text. I, for, I know a lot of you guys are already good text too, but these are the guys, I know Don from Dentcraft, and then uh, so far I know uh, John Scotto, uh, and I apologize if I've met you and I don't remember your name. Uh, it's not on purpose, okay? So. Let's get cracking, okay? That's my, you guys know my, my, one of my lines, I say, let's, when we get into a video, we gotta get cracking. I don't like the bull crap too much. Um, it's not my style. I know you're here to watch and learn. And here's another thing. I don't wanna disappoint you and get, you get all mad and hit the unlike button, but I am gonna stop this video uh, through, I'll be able to do one demonstration, but I'm gonna do two demonstrations, and the second one's gonna be on Dent Trainer. Just, and the reason why I'm filming like this is because to let you guys know the quality of the repairs, the quality of the production. Generally, a lot of you guys do good repairs too. Um, but it mainly is the production and what the value we bring to you on Dent Trainer. So I really recommend you going to Dent Trainer. You're gonna be blown away. If you like the videos here on YouTube, you're gonna love the videos on denttrainer.com. Later on, I'll be able to give you a prom promo code so you can get in there for a discount. And then to keep in mind, a lot of these tools I'm showing you, you get discounts through Dent Trainer. So uh, you're not paying full pop uh, if, you just, if you just tried to buy it on your own, okay? So again, let's get cracking. So talking about the, uh, one of the main tools, if you don't have this tool in your arsenal, it's called the soft tip, double bend soft tip. Now this particular one is a little bit more custom. Uh, it has a, a removable handle. And I'm gonna get closer right here so you guys can see uh, what we're doing here. So it's got a removable handle and it's got the octagon on here. I, if you're a veteran technician, I really recommend you getting the octagon systems because who wants to carry, have handles married to your, your tool all the time. Plus, you get to do different angles. So not only you, you, you don't have to have, be like this, you can, go, you can go like this, you know, you can, you can do it all kinds of different ways. However, 
This, like I said, this is a little, it's not so much custom, it's just an option. And it's gonna run you probably, well, this handle right here will probably run you about 150 bucks and then uh, another 20 bucks to have it octagon. But you can generally get it cheaper if you buy it all at once, kind of like this. So back to the soft tip. So we call it a soft tip because generally it was created because we wanted to put one of these tips on here, okay? Like this, like this, or like this. This is an R4, by the way, from Dentcraft. It again, the links are on the description. So if you want to check out some of that. So the ideal was, and this is magnetic too, so you don't have to unscrew it. So this gave you a lot of push power, I mean, and prevented you making high spots in your panel. That's what we call it the soft tip tool. Now, why is this tool so versatile? Why is it so important? Well, I just mentioned it. it's versatile because you have all this tool, can be all these tool tips, tools, in just by the changing, interchanging the tool tips. Now these tall ones are called extensions, and what they do is give you more leverage. So if your tool's way down here, or you have too much of an open area, you just add one of these tips, extensions, and now you don't have to push as far, okay? So it makes up ground, shall I say, and gives you leverage. I'm not gonna go super specific in everything, but let's just say generally, if we're gonna do this repair for the, for the newbies, they like to go with a soft tip because they get more of the, of the dent up, and then they quickly switch to a midpoint and then something sharper like this, like this tip right here, to finish. However, again, we're not gonna talk about this tool though, but I'm telling you, you gotta get this tool though. Okay, if you don't own it, it's the first tool I would get, no, no matter what. If, I, if, you, if you're gonna ask me a question on here, the first tool I'm gonna get is this double bend soft tip because I have all these options and that tool is pretty much everything in one. So the double bend soft tip, ST38, they come in different sizes. I believe this is the 24 and you can get it in 18. I recommend the 30, 24 and 18 inch. Uh, fantastic tool. It is definitely an all-time classic and, and definitely an all-star tool you've got to have in your arsenal. So I'm going to put this one away right now. And generally, let's just say I was using that soft tip and let's talk about picks. Okay, so we're going to talk about, this is a, this is recent, I'm going to put this tip, this tip set back. This is a recent option now that Ultra created. Now they had their straight picks but now you see the double bend on there. Now that gives you just enough leverage for almost everyday pick pushes. I like the pick because it's fantastic at finishing. It is like you have a small dent left, which we will probably demonstrate when we get to this point, is use one of these tips. You also have a tequila tip, which is from Anson, okay? Now this is a different, it's not the same. It has a little bit different options here, if you notice, it's got a little, it's more, more shaved right in this area, okay? And it's a little bit sharper on the edge. So it will give you, get you a little bit more in between braces and, and whatnot. And it's great for finishing as well. This is the Anson Tequila Ice Pick, okay? They recently made them nice and pretty and shiny. I like shiny just looks so good when you open up your drawer or open up your toolbox and your customer's watching you and you got nice tools, they know you're, gonna, you're, you're all about the quality. You're all, they, they know that you chose, they chose the right PDR company to work on their vehicle. So these are generally for finishing, tightening up, working with aluminum. These are something that you want, definitely want to consider having. And if you don't have your veteran tech, shame on you if you don't have them because you'll love them. Absolutely love them. That's another tutorial though for itself as far as like really understanding picks. So Stanlander kind of came out with this. Now I, I could use this tool right here. Um, it's kind of like the everyday tool. It's just enough. It's a little bit thin. Um, it'll give you some power, but it's made for close repairs. Like this would be considered for this candidate, for this, this tool. Pardon me for not remembering how much or what this, the name of this one is, but again, if you go to the, to the link, Stanliner, you'll see it. This is pretty much almost like a mini crane, but a little bit sharper. So this is the original crane, 
It's got a little bit of a bend to it. And this is the smaller one, okay? But this isn't a crane. I don't want you guys to mix it up. It's very similar. And what these are designed for is to push, like from the top, and drag, side load. So if you're in a narrow area, you can side load it. And again, you can, and if you have a crease that's going to cross, which we're going to demonstrate in the second part of this video, which you'll see on Dent Trainer, is that it's very clean at walking creases out. Very, very good without, without po making poke marks, okay? Let me go, let me get you a different, a better underneath shot of what I'm talking about. So when I'm making contact, right, there's, there's the look. I'm making contact like this, okay? You can also, like I said, drag, drag the tool, okay? drag it. There's also another technique what they call is a uh, samurai technique where this, this doesn't have a long enough length for it, but they also just rapidly just let it bounce. It's fantastic, okay? And then again, if you had a real brace like between here, like let's say there, you're, you're side loading it like this, okay? So this is a great tool. This is where you're making the majority of your contact is right here. Okay, and it's, it's just a, an awesome tool and we're gonna show you why, okay, for this. And this is definitely a tool I recommend that you get um, in your arsenal. Now they have the straight one which just came out. It's kind of like the double bin and they got the raised one, uh, which it's in my drawer. Get them all. But if you're gonna get one, I'd probably get this one first, the, the, the raised one, and then go this one and go with the double. It, you're, gonna need, you're gonna use them all, but uh, you know, don't buy cheap, you know, because you're gonna buy twice, and don't buy replicas, uh, things like that. So, and so one more time, now we're gonna go into the, uh, the tab downs. Ladies and gentlemen, Tapping down is just as important as pushing. If you don't have good tap downs, you're gonna have poor results. Like you're, you're, it's gonna, you're gonna create more work for yourself because especially if a tap down's not even, not clean, you're gonna have micro lows and you're gonna go, why is my dent getting so messy? Again, we have a lot of good tutorials on how to tap down but just a quick mention here, this is, the, this is one of the VIPs right here. This is the metal one right here. I'm gonna take this down so we're not distracted with all this other stuff and then we'll, we'll go into these little taps, okay? So this is, the, this is the VIP and it's metal. It is one of the most accurate, fantastic tap downs you can, you can own. Now when I'm tapping down, you see how level that is? That means I'm gonna be nice and straight, I'm not gonna mark it. If you are slightly edged, you're gonna mark the paint. And you gotta be careful. And you also gotta keep it very clean. So maybe you're a newbie and you're like, well, I don't wanna take the chance of doing that. I'm not that good yet. So yeah, they have a, they have a VIP tap, uh, tip, plastic one. Very good, okay? This, I use this more than I use the metal one just because I'm in the, I'm in the middle of a quick repair especially a black car, I'm going with this one because I just don't want to take more time to buff out uh, any scuffs. I'm not saying that's not good, and most of the time this will not scuff, but I don't always remember to keep it clean. And that's the thing, you gotta keep it clean. They also have a micro, it's called the micro tip. Very, very fine, fine tapping down. Very good. I'll stop just for a second, just read some comments if you guys have anything to say, and then I'll get going, okay? Okay, so, hello, what, what, okay, we're going there, Victor, Vic, Daniel Grom, what's up, Daniel Grom, Mr. Motorcycle Man, okay. Uh, anyways, what else is going on? The other one called the uh, Carvel. Which one are you referring to, uh, Scotto? Anyways, I'll come back to him. He'll probably lecture me at the end in a good way. I was talking about. <laughs> um, we're gonna get it, oh, and Kiko. Kiko's latest tap downs, actually, they've had them. They're just underrated, nobody knows about them. So you've, you've seen me probably doing a last video with this, tap -a -tap, this type of tap down, the fire, 
again, good tap downs, a variety of tap downs are really gonna help you become a cleaner tech. Just, again, the links are down below. Check it out. Um, so we'll, we're gonna get into that. I wanna make sure everything is going good. We're, we're, it looks like everything's streaming fine. The quality good for you, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully. So um, let's get into it, right? So I'm gonna go picture in picture. Let's go picture in picture. I'm gonna move that picture in picture over to here. So that way we can see the tool being worked. And let's go, right? I'm gonna use the straight one right here for this demonstration, okay? The stand liner. And I'm gonna make contact right here. It is pretty dang sharp, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but it doesn't make marks. So let's see. Let's see what happens. So you can see I'm making nice contact right here. And the reason why I'm putting my hand right here that you see is just to keep it more steady. All right, so let me turn my hat around because I don't want to get my shot, your shot in there. Here we go. One. So I'm going to start just to find my tool just a little bit. I'm going to start right around here, OK? And when I'm pushing, I'm looking for the pinch. Now, you veteran techs who don't use lines, you're like, I don't understand what the hell he's looking at. And if you're a, YouTube, you're a dent trainer, I will edit this and zoom in even more so you can see. So this isn't going to be the final product. I'll have this on dent trainer as well so you can see it, OK? Much cleaner, easier. So it'll be, it'll be really cool. Um, OK, so here we go. So I'm going to walk in. Once I know where my tip's at, then I can start creeping to the center. Oops, I don't think I tightened up my, let me tighten this up. Oh, I didn't tighten it up. See, live video here. Didn't tighten it up my own thing here. Bear with me. This is the crazy thing about live video. I checked everything except the bench, right? All right, here we go. Yeah, much better. So it's reacting, coming in. And I'm, I don't know if I'm hiding my finger. Yeah, my finger's hiding it, sorry. Look at it. This is a sharp dent, by the way. And I meant to men mention is that this tip pushes like a soft tip, finishes like, with a sharp, like a sharp tip. So you have best of both worlds in here. So what I'm saying is you don't have to pass the baton as often. If you're a really good tech, like hopefully I want to be, you won't have to pass the baton as much at all, OK? If you want to play it safe, like most of the time I do, I'll, I'll use this to a certain point and then go to a pick, OK? But there's, that's what's great about PDR is that everyone has their own style. OK, and now look at, I'm just not in the shot, though. Am I? Yeah, I'm good. Bring it out. And I'm backing off the pressure. So this dent's a little stretched because I hit it with a uh, hard soft tip. And look how nice and no chewy marks, OK? I'm going to bring this board so you can see just a little bit more because now, I do apologize because I, I have a camera set on this, and I'm not going to zoom in and mess it up. So uh, again, in Dent Trainer, we'll, I'll zoom in and make a nice magnification so you can see more, even more detail with this dent. So far, it's not pinched. It's not overstretched. It's clean, OK? And I can still push with this tip. Everybody's with me here, OK? Again, I'm. If you're listening, right? I'm already 30 seconds ahead of you, OK? So if I mess up, it is what it is, right? All right, so land here. Well, let me read the, I'm going to read it so you guys can see what, I, what, what we're doing. I'm going to go back to this one right here. OK, tools are all the same. You get what you pay for. Dang straight, Tom. Dang straight. Standliner tools, you have the crane tool, and then the other one is a uh, carvel. Oh, OK, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so um, 
Scott was telling me this one, this tool, particular tool right here is the Carvel. So thanks, thanks for pointing that out, Scott. I appreciate that. So let's get back into this repair, guys. I appreciate you guys watching and stay tuned in here. Uh, here we go. I gotta do the picture in picture again too. So let me do that one right there. That should be in there. Where's my picture in picture? Oh, there it is, yeah. Okay, here we go. Nice pushes. What I like about this, this crane tool is, gosh, it's, it's hard to chew up a dent. Just slowly just kind of bringing that metal to the center. And once I get the center where I want it, geez, I'm not even need, look, I can just finish it off. Look, no over pushing. I'm not forcing anything. I'm letting the tool do the work. Fantastic, fantastic tool. Okay, I got a little micro pinch and that's generally what you want because you, in some cases when you have a center pit, like it is now, you have a little center, you wanna overstretch it. I still have a tiny micro low inside of there and it's hard to show you from this camera angle, but I'm gonna push it a little bit more because when I go to tap down, I don't wanna keep pushing. Nice, clean pinch like that. I'll move the board though to see if you guys can see that a little bit better, okay? So there's no pit inside of it. That's the whole point. A lot of guys, unfortunately, can't get to this point because they don't realize they gotta over push it. And the physical aspect of it, the physical aspect of pushing is unbelievably different than, than you watching a video. You, you going, oh, he's just making it, he's just easily pushing it. No, nope. it's like 10 times more power when you get to the center. That's where it's all holding the pressure. Again, if you guys like these type of videos and you were like, man, is there a difference? Can I learn the same on YouTube? What you're getting tons of good information right here. Imagine going on Dent Trainer and learning that stuff that you're struggling with every day. Stuff like this or you're a veteran tech and don't understand how to use the current tools and how much they're gonna save you and how much time uh, and, and money they're going to make you, shall I say that, uh, then it's, you're, you're really kind of missing the boat and the, the new techs that are coming in are just getting much, much faster. And I really recommend staying up to date with the newest and latest tools. So back to this thing, enough of the guilt trip, right? We're gonna tap down now. So what tap down would I use? Again, we talked about it already. So my two options or three options, what I, what I really like, I, I like, I like that one. I like that one. And I like that one. Now this doesn't mean all the other tap downs are crap. They're not. It's just when I'm looking for it, when I'm looking to finish, I'm looking for precision and how clean I can make it tap down. So the smaller, usually the more pinched, the more precise I want to use. So these tap downs are probably the ones I want to go with. But since it's nice and pinched, okay, I'll probably use one of these two. So uh, let's just do this, right? Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch a tiger by the toe. My mama told me not to, and you are not it. Okay, so we're going to go with the micro, all right? Kiko's fantastic. Kiko shined last time. Paddles, ladies and gentlemen. I only have these. These are my personal paddle. This is, I, may, I get this made in Guam from the specific Pacific Islander wood out there called uh, Efit. And I only keep, I only have these once or twice a year, like in stock. So, um, however, if you really need a paddle, you should go and check out Dent Freaks. Uh, there's, they, uh, they created this paddle for me and they sell them. Uh, I'll put a link down there. I asked him if he, before I went on the video, he said he didn't have a website, but I'll get you in touch with him later on. It's got, so it's got nice little features on there, a little magnet there, so you can, you can keep it on the side of your car if you want or somewhere, and, or maybe you can see it on the side of the car and forget about it and lose it, so I don't recommend that. Um, but he does a lot of custom stuff for you 
and his little tip holder, or tip, you can blend it, create that. Pretty nice, okay? So I'll put the link down there. I'll get the information later uh, on there. But Dent Freaks, you can probably find them on uh, Facebook. Tap down. Oh, and by the way, this base is made from Drew's tools. A um, little bit of kind of a wood feel. It's got a magnet on the end of it. But anyway, so again, I'll be able to zoom in on the post-production of this, but for now, you guys can get an idea of uh, what I'm doing, all right? And here we go. Let me turn my hat around, because I don't want that in there. So when I tap, look how straight that is. Gosh dang, I'm pretty proud of myself right there. So it's tap, lift up. I'm just going on the skinniest part of the black line, okay? This is where I'd probably take a pick on your way and, and just touch up. You can see that's pretty dang straight in general how we got that dent out, okay? And then look, if I want to I want to look more detail, I move the board and you can see barely, just barely some little pinching. Probably like a little bit there, and it's a little bit micro low there. It's hard to see from your angle. That's why we move the board, move it back. And then look, here's a mistake the rookies make. They go like this. They put it so close. Oh, it's done. It's not done, okay? It looks like it's done because the, the, the width of the black line, or the lines, the yellow line, is hiding the imperfections in the panel. So it's hiding between the thickness of that line. So that's why you want to move it back, and now you start seeing the wiggle, right? Well, and that's the truth. And then there you can see is that, li that little low, right? That micro low, still tiny bit left. Since you probably see it in this camera, Good thing for high def these days. We use the tequila pick. And actually, I'm going to go through one of these holes instead because I feel like this is too, too lengthy. Let's, let, let's, uh, let's do picture in picture, right? Let's see what this looks like here. So you see the picture in picture? The tool is coming here. I don't know if, how well you can see it on your screen. Oh, let me go there. And I'm just going to go for that little bit of... See, when you have a sharp tool, it's not going to over push the general line. It's going to push just the center that's low. That's what the great thing about a sharp tool is for. Just enough. It doesn't overstretch more than you want. Fantastic tool. Absolutely money. Ultra will give you the same thing. So this is why I like the Ultra because if I didn't have that hole, right, I needed that extra leverage, that bend to get this. However, this has got a different tip feel. Fantastic though. It's very forgiving. It's way more forgiving than any other sharp tool or a pick that you have, okay? It's very forgiving. So next, and I'm going to continue this tutorial on dent trainer. We're going to do a crease. And you see how, how that crease is? Let's just do it this way. Yeah. That's a, that's a good little crease. And we'll show you how I correct this crease again using a stand liner tool. And we might even get into the, the snake tool that they have too. So it is absolutely great. So I hope you guys really liked uh, this part of the tutorial. This is the kind of uh, production value we give uh, in our videos. We make sure that you are seeing everything that we see. Uh, we actually do even more details as you can see. I want to take this video and I want to, uh, I'll make some more 
in-depth things. A lot of times I stop the video and I'll do a voiceover pointing out certain things that I wasn't able to show you or talk about or I forgot to mention in the video itself. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. We'll have a little bit of videos like this in and out throughout the year, as you guys know. Uh, meanwhile, look out for the new Dent Trainer 2.0 coming out later this week. Super fantastic. Discounts, other trainers are going to be on there. It's going to be fantastic and fun. I hope you guys can join us. My name is Mike Toledo. I appreciate you guys watching and please subscribe. Thank you.